Welcome ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we are going over my top 5 favorite classes for Shadowland. I did this while back in Legion, and you guys really really liked the video, even though it kind of sucked. But due to high request, we're going to do one again for Shadowlands. But before this video starts, I'd like to thank Dungeon & Fighter for sponsoring this video. Dungeon & Fighter Online is a retro-style 2D side-scrolling action game with 16 classes to choose from. You can also customize your character appearance with various types of avatars and dyes for their outfits. In fact, here's a code that will give you a free avatar set. On November 17th, DFO released their new awakening for the male priest character, including the Crusader, Monk, Exorcist, and the Avenger. It's pretty sick. There's also a level up event, don't ask, double it. This event is a rare opportunity that will reward the users with tons of end game items, such as the full set of level 100 legendary gear, full set of fragment abyss gear, and finally more than 12 reinforced epic weapons. If you're feeling for some arcade side scrolling action game, check out DFO in the description below. Number one is going to be Subtlety Road. This class just has it all. Mobility, instant gap closers, back to back, two shadow steps. And if you're in stealth, shadow strike, big jump on the enemy. You also can triple cheap shot, kidney shot, blind, sab, 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 you name it. This class has damage, CC mobility. The only weakness I would say is their healing, but you have Crimson Veil. And if you talent into Soothing Darkness with your Covenant Ability Recuperator, you will have some decent healing. Jumping into our defensive, we have the Evasion 100% dodge. You need to face the enemy though. If they come behind you, they will be able to hit you or land a stun on you. Especially rogues, when you fight on them, they will shadow step and stun you. So be sure to, you know, face on face. I think a lot of people don't know this. Even my friends that are like multi gladiator, they didn't know about this. That's good to point out. We also have Cloak of Shadows that removes every dot in the game. I love that rogue has an ability for melees and casters. That is a good class. On top of that, you have the Vanish. If you're dying, just vanish, stay in stealth, heal up to full, and then come out again. And I know I said our healing might not be the best, but we have the CC to cover it up, and you can always reset. For example, full kidney shot, if you trinkets it, blind them full, free stealth, eat, suck on your little juicers. For 1v1s, I think the rogue class could probably beat every class right now. If played properly, of course. I'm not even close to mastering a rogue yet, but I think I've beaten almost everyone with it. <laughs> it's just such a strong class. The CC and the damage combination is unbeatable. Arena, S tier. You could play so many comp with the Subtlety Rogue. So if you want to have fun in Arena, Subtlety Rogue is the choice. It might be hard to learn at first, but if you get used to it and use your macros properly, you will have a lot of fun. In Battlegrounds, you'll kill it in there too. My number two favorite class. It's gotta be the Retribution Paladin. My Red Paladin, my big pencil. I'll be completely honest. Um, I think Shadowlands Retribution Paladin is a lot more fun than BFA because of our final verdict, Legendary. Which is basically the old Wallet of Draenor talent. You could Templar Verdict from a range. Which is pretty far. And I love this ability. 1v1 wise, it's a godly class right now. Unless you're fighting against a mobile class. <laughs> and our damage is still amazingly strong after the nerf. I got some secret jutsus up my sleeves that I didn't really reveal. In terms of defense, uh, our heals are way too strong in my opinion. I think it's gonna get nerfed. There's no way our heal stays this way and I wish they could just give us like a flat defensive ability. 
Because our wall basically does nothing. Every time I trinket wall, people just go through it instantly. You know how druids have thorns? When they pop thorns, people avoid hitting the druid. But when I pop shield of vengeance, they just go right through it like butter. But luckily we have a bubble, which is one of the powerful, the most powerful defensive ability. But it also has a downside to it. It can get mass dispelled or shattered throw. So it can be countered by some classes. Also, another downside is it's a five minute cooldown. It's very long. So if we lose this in arena, it's party pooper for us. So I can say for battlegrounds, Red Paladin, amazing class. Probably the most fun because you have self survivability and the damage every two minutes or one minute if you play the right talent. 1v1, super fun. If you're fighting against noobs, you will crush every single one of them. But if you're fighting against a rank one or a gladiator experienced players, they will know how to kite you. And if you get kited, uh, you just get countered because our mobility kind of sucks. In Arena, I think it will have some comps. Probably not much as rogue comps, but we'll still have our size to it. And I think it's looking a lot better than Shadowlands for the Red Paladins. So Red Paladin is my number two pick. Number three is my Windwalker Monk. I love this class. Honestly, this should be my number two. So for me, a class is fun when it's mobile. And Monk, let me tell you, we gotta teleport, we gotta, we gotta big surf and kick, double, roll, and a freedom with 70% movement speed. So in terms of mobility, it's amazing. Uh, in terms of CC, it's not the strongest like Rogue, but it does have two, which is an in cap and a stun. You could set up an uh, in cap on the healer, stun on the kill target, right? And our burst, scary strong. Scary strong. I think if I could go in order, the burst level, it's probably rogue number one, windwalker number two, and then red paladin number three. <laughs> Almost forgot to mention the most fun legendary monk has i mean it's the best one too basically your tiger palm is a gap closer and it increases your critical strike by 50 percent so let me demonstrate it for you here's the tiger palm ladies and gentlemen boom you want to get close to this guy just tiger palm him this ability is going to make healers scream or the kill target Imagine you're trying to run away from a monk and he just tiger palm spams you and just instantly closes on you. It's gonna be scary. In terms of defensive skills, we have good healing. If you choose the right talents and honor talents. You also have fortifying brew. And I like that monks have diffuse. You have a physical damage reduction and you have a magical defensive. That's a good class right there. So to wrap it up for the monks, arena, it's mind blowing good. 1v1, they're god 1v1s as well. Um, for battlegrounds, you will have a lot of fun. And you'll just become Jojo and Fist of Fury everyone to death. Number four, make sure I'm recording. RK Mage, I just said everything and I wasn't recording. Ooh. Me, man. My number four, is the RK mage. If I could give you a little background story, I used to main a mage up until WAD. It was sort of a main. I used to love it. People would start shaking when they saw my mage, okay? <laughs> Anyways, RK mage damage is very, very scary. If they can properly set up on you, they will crush you or even one tap you. Mage is probably one of the most slippery class in World of Warcraft right now because we have double blink. Also, our arcane barrage, which is on a two second cooldown, almost three seconds. It basically slows the enemy 50% and increases your movement speed by 50%. So most of the time, you'll see mages just drifting around. It's arcane barrage and just run around like this. You basically could have a perma speed if you want to kite away. And if you need another slow, 
you have just slow. And if it feels like the enemy is getting close to you, pop a alter time. And within time, you go back to your spot, or if you press it again, you go back to your original spot. You got good mobility, you have slow, and a frost nova. It's very hard to touch a mage, and if you feel like you're in threat, just spam that polymorph. A classic mage tactic is to burst, get a defensive cooldown from the enemy, polymorph them, eat them to full, and then just nuke them down once again when they don't have their defensive ability. It's not the easiest thing to do, but it's a tactic that has been used since Classic WoW. So damage, very powerful, mobility, kite ability, very strong. I think the healing is where the problem is, but like I said, if you want to reset, you can polymorph, eat to full, put on your shield, you have a temp shield, you have ice block, and you have covenant abilities that heal you, like Cairo Freeze, Diverted Energy, and Tempest Barrier. So you do have choices to heal yourself, but our self-heal is not the strongest in my opinion. For 1v1s, I think it's a powerful class, but if you're fighting against a class that could purge or dispel you, it will be pretty hard. Because a lot of our defensive could be purged. In Arena, I think it stands very high because we do have the burst we need and the CC we need. Also a range kick that is 6 second. With polymorphs, you could spam on each member of the enemy. I hate fighting against mages. Whenever I pop my burst, it just poly me. My healer cleanses, he polys me again, polys me again, and just kites away until my burst is over. And that's so annoying. Not only is he doing that, he does that to my partner. So after my polys are over, he starts spam polying my partner. So if played well, mage is very, very good. Also, apologies on my mog. Um, beta doesn't transfer all the mogs I have, so my mog looks like... <laughs> Number 5 is the Demon Hunter. I know this class gets memed on, but I honestly feel like this is one of the classes that Blizzard really, really designed well. Um, people might hate me for saying this, but I don't think WoW need to have that many keys because for example, I play a lot of classes and a lot of my abilities are just fillers. Like I don't even need it, it's not even meaningful, it doesn't even do that much damage. Where in Demon Hunter, look at my button, like I have nothing. This is all my buttons on my DH. And every each button feels useful in a way. And it's really fun to play. It's a well designed class. Blizzard if you're watching, round of applause for Demon Hunter. I know it gets shit on but... I honestly think it's a good class, it's fun, every ability feels meaningful. Um, mobility wise, it's godly, you have two dashes. A dash also puts a mortal strike now, which makes it so good. You have a backflip, and you have your metamorphosis, big jump. You're always gonna be on top of your enemy playing a DH. You also have fell plane. <laughs> Let me go outside and show you. You basically leap onto the target. Super fun ability. I love abilities like this. And of course, you have the soul shape, which is the blink. You turn into a massive furry. And you're just teleporting everywhere. If you're not in combat, you could charge onto people. It stuns them for like 5-6 seconds. So good. If you're looking for a simple fun class, I think Demon Hunter. If you're an old boomer that wants to have it easy, Demon Hunter. Um, our defensives, we have darkness. With the talent, we take even less damage. We have blur on a minute cooldown. And our strongest defensive, the metamorphosis. If you talent into demonic, your eye beam triggers yourself to go into the monster form. And you just heal so much in this form. It's probably not the best 1v1 class because we don't have the greatest self heal. But... If you can utilize your cooldowns, like run away, come back when you have eye beam or metamorphosis, you can heal a lot. There was a match in Arena where I was practically dead, but I stayed alive because I was just sucking and leeching off of them. <laughs> and it worked out great. Um, CC, we have imprison, put a person in a jail. We have two stuns. It's perfect for Arena. 
So for arena, I don't think Demon Hunter is gonna be bad. I think it's good still. I know a lot of people are saying it's nerfed, it's bad. In my opinion, if you play the right talents, the right choices, and the right partners, you will still do good. 1v1, probably not the best because we don't have self-heal. It's like a warrior. If a warrior has healer, they destroy the world. But if a warrior doesn't have a healer, they will suffer. Same thing for DH. We do have leech. So if you could use this very well, you can stay alive, but it's not the best one be one. Battleground. Amazingly fun. And I think that covers it up. I know you guys must be curious on like what talents to take, what conduits, what legendaries. I will promise you guys I will make a video guide for each one of these classes I just went over with a friend of mine or myself to give you guys the best choices possible. I hope I mentioned everything. I keep thinking like I forgot something. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in Shadowlands. Peace.